Hi guys, welcome to another review. Today we're going over to America to the Atwater Brewery, although I was calling them Altwater Brewery when I was talking to a couple of people on Facebook about this brewery. And uh, yeah, this is the Going Steady IPA, which is described as a grapefruit session ale. Clocking in at 4.6% with an IBU cut of 55. Pairs with hopes, dreams, friends. Lovely little description there. And uh, yeah, brewed with grapefruit juice and grapefruit zest. Comes in this lovely 355ml bottle. Got really nice artwork there on the label. And there is the At Water Crown. So I've never had anything from these guys before over in Detroit, I believe. And this was imported to Germany by Liquid Hops. So, um, yeah, interesting stuff. I do really like that artwork. Um, I don't think they credit the artist on their website. But if I find out who it is, links are down below. So, Grapefruit IPA is probably my favourite sub-style of IPA. Absolutely love grapefruit in beers. So, let's see what we get with this one. We get it on the bottle. Let's pour it in. I'm going to pour it all in so I can get my big nose in there. Well, beer in a glass, and uh, yeah, it's exactly what you expect when you get a grapefruit-infused IPA. It's got that lovely, like, intensity in the colour. It's this nice dark orangey sort of colour with slight pinkish hues in there. Very, you know, you can't see through that at all. And um, yeah, beer poured will, well, I didn't really pour it with a head, to be honest. But when you swirl the glass, you'll probably be able to see it better when I pour the rest of the beer in. Yeah, it's a lovely sort of off-white colour. But um, yeah, looks damn good. And yeah, I love my grapefruit IPAs. So let's hope that it comes through nicely in the flavour. I mean, in the aroma. Getting ahead of myself there. Yeah, you get that lovely grapefruit aroma. Although it does sort of smell like um, like grapefruit washing soap, almost. But yeah, you get that lovely juiciness in there. Definitely pick up that zest. And that bitterness does come through on the aroma. Lovely hop character as well, not too sure what hops they've used. But you get that really nicely. And you get that lovely Rancheries Fruit Pastel sort of aroma as well. Yeah, it smells lovely. It smells really, really nice. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Yep, it's a grapefruit IPA. And it's described as a session one. But I don't know, at 4.6% would that be a really session? I always consider it like a session session strength beer to be around the 2 to 3% mark. Especially here in Germany anyway. As I'm talking now, going completely off topic, that grapefruit bitterness comes in really nicely on the back end. As if you've just finished swigging a nice glass of grapefruit juice. It tastes a little bit more than the 55 IBUs, has to be said, but it is really, really nice. It's lovely, zesty, it's singy. It's got this slight like, prickly sort of sensation. Almost like you've got a sour jelly sweet. It's not really sour, but that like sugar mixture that they put on the top of it. You get that sensation. Tickles the tongue. But yeah, definitely grapefruit, 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 grapefruit all day. And then you get lovely tropical fruits and that. It's a very tropical, zesty, citrusy IPA. 
and um, yeah lovely crisp body to it not too heavy but not too light very sessionable as uh, the name suggests and um, yeah that grapefruit bitterness comes in really powerful on the back end so if you love your grapefruit flavors you're gonna love this beer now compared to some of the other grapefruit IPAs that I've had my personal favorite is Brewdog's Elvis Juice I just love that beer and the fact that when I'm back in the UK I could go to a supermarket and pick up like four bottles for less than five pound it just helps me love and appreciate that beer a lot more but this in terms of American grapefruit IPAs the only other one that I've had from America is of course the uh, grapefruit sculpin from Ballast Point and I said in my review that in this climate it's still a very good grapefruit IPA but a lot of brewers now are using actual grapefruit in a lot of their beers so the game has changed a lot since then but they were like one of the is pioneer the right word to put like a grapefruit flavor into a beer because you know you get these hop characters and flavors and you get that grapefruit like flavor so it just makes sense to use actual grapefruit in a beer to accentuate that and to add a whole different dimension of flavor and i think you're getting the grapefruit more on the back end with this beer but when you're drinking it it's a lovely slightly more bitter tropical ipa it's not a juice bomb it's not resiny either it's just got this lovely natural like tropical fruit sort of flavor to it and um yeah that's a, a really nice solid grapefruit infused ipa when you've got it all in the bottle and you've swilled it round the remnants in the bottom of the bottle i mean i'm not too sure if it yeah it's you know a bottle conditioned it's unfiltered there's a little floaty floating in there once you get it all in there that grapefruit flavor comes through a lot more at the forefront and there's a little bit more like sweetness but that natural sugary sweetness you get with fruits and um yeah that's a an absolutely lovely lovely ipa in its own right but does what it says on the tin or the bottle in this case and if you love your grapefruit ipas then and you can get a hold of this highly highly recommended in terms of a rating i think i can give this one an 8 out of 10 it's a very solid beer indeed and uh, i'm looking forward to seeing what other beers are available here in germany from at water never heard of this brewery before but if, um, talking to a couple of American friends on Facebook, they've got yeah relatively good things to say about them, and uh, yeah, hopefully Liquid Hops have brought in a lot more of their beers. Uh, picked this up from Beretta. Can't remember when. Uh, it's been downstairs for a little while, but it's one that I definitely go to, and I think if I remember correctly, um, it was a little bit cheaper than what you would pay for Brew Dogs grapefruit ipa the elvis juice so it's i don't want to use the word compromise but if you can't get a hold of that then i'm happily you know going to pick up one or two more bottles of this but yeah very solid beer indeed and uh, yeah if you have tried this one let me know your thoughts opinions if any of my uh us brothers out there have re reviewed this one or indeed any of my fellow uk beer tubers their reviews will be down below Check out my IPA playlist. Um, it's probably the biggest of my uh, craft beer subgenres because I just love IPAs. So I'm not going to apologise for that. And um, well, apart, you know, these East Coast IPAs are all the rage right now. Way to date your video there, Pete. But um, yeah, I love a good IPA, and this is a very damn good one that you should check out. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this beer review, and until the next time, I shall hopefully. See thee later. Cheers.